The luxurious future, where dreams and reality collide, as Saudi Arabia brings yet another jaw-dropping mega-project that has the world buzzing, the Mukab. This time, Saudi Arabia has gone all out with its massive structure, the Q. It's gigantic. It could make the Burj Khalifa look like a mere toothpick in comparison. When you think you've seen it all, Saudi Arabia has something even more mind-blowing up its sleeve, a holographic dome that sends you to magical worlds. But the real question is, will the Mukab actually happen? In this video, we'll uncover everything we know about the Mukab, and we'll find out if it's more than just a ski-fi fantasy. Saudi Arabia may be known for its vast oil reserves, but they're on a mission to transform their economy and become a world leader in tourism. Under the ambitious Vision 2030 plan, they've announced some truly mind-boggling mega-projects, including the One Trillion Neon, which includes a 170-kilometer-long line city, a floating port city, called Octagon, and a massive ski resort in the middle of the Arabian Desert Trona. If you haven't, make sure to check out our video about Neom. Moving on, NNIL Nazer, the CEO of Neom shook things up in January 2023 by announcing that 20% of the project's infrastructure was already in place, and to prove it, they uploaded a video showing off the massive construction sites of the line, Octagon and Trona. Also, NM is taking things to the next level by teaming up with TechType and Widia to bring advanced AI technologies to their city. Not only that, Neom recently sprung a surprise with the announcement of their latest project, Neom Mukab. This grandiose queue is the newest addition to Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 initiative, and it's going to be constructed in none other than the bustling capital, Riyadh. So while Neon has been getting all the attention lately, Saudi Arabia is still making big moves to improve all of its major cities. Pretty impressive, huh? The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, has unveiled plans for the Mukab project to become the world's biggest urban downtown, with the Mukab as its centerpiece. The Mukab project will encompass more than 80 entertainment centers, numerous pedestrian paths, and a vast museum making it an unparalleled destination for both locals and tourists. The exterior design was inspired by the traditional Nadi architecture style used by Saudi citizens for centuries. The magnificent exterior of the Mukab will glisten in the sun, creating a stunning effect that will outshine the rest of the Riyadh skyline. This cube-shaped building, towering 400 meters high and wide, will be a super-tall skyscraper that surpasses all other cube-shaped buildings. Buildings in the world, like the 40-meter-tall Berlin Cube in Germany. For comparison, the Maccabre is so vast that it could easily place 20 Empire State Buildings inside of it. So what's inside the Maccabre? Well, stepping in there would be like entering a whole new world. There will be a huge dome towering over you, displaying all kinds of virtual realities, which is meant to be an immersive experience that completely transports you. You could be deep in the ocean in one second, then, on the surface of Mars, the next, or even in some sort of mystical place, it'll be like nothing you've ever experienced before. Right in the middle of the dome, there's a spiral tower that looks like an anthill or a bunch of mushrooms growing from the ground up to the ceiling. It sure will be amazing as it's meant to be a premium spot for tourists from all over the world. It features everything from restaurants and hotels to observation platforms, cinemas and theaters. And of course, the tower and dome are enclosed by the Massive cube. Each of the cube's four corners has its own skyscraper, like tower, with all kinds of facilities. And they're even using the top of the cube as well with lakes, lawns, and trees. Can you imagine a lake on top of the cube? Well, they're gonna try it. Now we get how amazing the Mukab is, but why a cubicle shape? The designer stated that it's because of the high efficiency in accommodating all the advanced technologies that will support the overall experience also. They explained that the technology will be concealed in the space between the Bell Jar Dome and the outer queue. In addition to its practical advantages, the queue design aims to enhance the Mukab iconic status, making it a standout landmark in Riyadh and distinguishing it from other major cities around the world. The aspiration is that akin to the Eiffel Tower in Paris or the Taj Mahal in Agra, India. Glimpsing a snapshot of the queue will immediately remind of Riyadh. Overall, the advancement of the project has generated a lot of, and the majority had the same question. Will the Macabre actually be built? 
The project team stated that construction is expected to start soon, and the Saudi Arabian government promised that the project will open to the public in 2030, along with other Vision 2030 projects like the Line, the Oxagon, and Trojana. When compared to the Line, the Macabre project is expected to be somewhat easier to achieve. However, it still ranks as one of the largest megaprojects ever prepared, and that's why it's tough to come up with the answer. So basically, if Saudi Arabia's plan goes smoothly, they'll start building the cube in a few months and finish it by 2030. Which means Riyadh will have a massive new landmark that'll attract a ton of tourists from all over the world. On the other hand, financial experts are already Mecca project as they're not sure where Saudi Arabia will find the funds for such a massive mega project. Even Dr. Andreas Krieg, an expert in Middle Eastern studies at King's College London, acknowledge that the finances of all this are not entirely secure. Also, when CNN asked the Public Investment Fund regarding the financial plan of the project, the PIF answered that financial details haven't been disclosed yet. The experts are forecasting that foreign investment will play a critical role in making the Maccabre a reality, as Saudi Arabia's plan to finance the Maccabre project through foreign investment heavily relies on bringing in over $100 billion per year. However, they are currently far from reaching that target. And on top of that, the accusations of human rights violations in Vision 2030 by Amnesty International have put a strain on the project. And this could potentially discourage foreign investors from investing in the project. Now, we know one of the biggest challenges is the funding. But let's put the money aside for a second and take a closer look at the Macabre project. Because the project has several other obstacles for its completion. First, those hard hitters. The holograms that Macabre mentioned are still just a dream. Advanced companies like Lightfield Tab are making progress. But creating holograms on such a scale for the dome seems like something out of a ski fi movie. Next is the massive LED screens, like the ones they're planning for the MSG Sphere in Las Vegas this year. It's a giant sphere entertainment venue with a wraparound screen that covers the entire interior wall that's designed to transport the audience to the virtual world. The only difference is that the, the Macabre will need a screen that's about 20 times bigger than the MSG spheres. So it's unclear if they could even build something like that. And the massive lake that's planned to be placed on top of the cube can't be underestimated. Millions of liters of the lake's water will create a ton of pressure on the structure. So the cube needs to be incredibly strong and 100% waterproof. Because if not, then it'll ruin all those expensive technologies underneath. So it's clear that the Macabre significant challenges with either insufficient funds or the implementation of the right technologies. There's a chance that it might never happen. But what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to Nonstop the Luxury.